Okay. I hope everyone is there and present to this transmission. Today being the full moon, a wonderful day to allow for some moments of contemplation and meditation. Sometimes it's very important to just look at things from a neutral perspective, meaning that you just observe your life or the activities that are happening in your life from a very neutral perspective, from a perspective where there is no judgment or reactive emotional response to what you're thinking about, what you're feeling. You're just looking at things in the same way as you may look at things if you're walking through a forest and there is a rock and there is a tree and there is a waterfall and you don't get upset that the rock is in the wrong place or the tree is growing in the middle of some place that you don't want it to be growing and it's just there. So observation just means that you allow the situation to be as it is and just watch, become aware. This is especially important <clears throat> during the full moon. And you know why. You know during the full moon, even if you may not be conscious or aware of such, during the full moon the, there is a lot more coming up to the surface. From the subconscious coming up to the surface, to your conscious mind, to your aware mind. Emotional remnants of old situations coming up to the surface sometimes to be looked at or understood in a different way there's a lot bubbling up to the surface and if so if this is the case it is for most human beings if this is the case then the way to understand how not to be overwhelmed by the situation or by the what is coming up to the surface is through just applying consciousness within the activities of everyday life within whatever you are doing. So this is the intention of today's meditation. Beyond stillness, creating an activity that is anchored within consciousness, within a state of deep awareness. As you breathe in and breathe out, <coughs> and let go, let go of all the little things that are going on inside of the mind or the difficult things that you may be feeling or just the distractions or noise that may be happening in the background inside of you or around you, as so you let that go, just imagining yourself in a beautiful place that's sunny and bright, full of light. As you breathe in this lightness into your body, just sense how the space becomes so much more free, so much more easy to appreciate, so much more easy to communicate within. Just notice the lightness creates even more freedom. Not freedom to do things in the same old way, but just to observe, to be present, and to appreciate through observation and awareness, through presence, to appreciate certain qualities that normally remain invisible. As you breathe in and breathe out, begin to appreciate the wonderful aspects of life such as gratitude and thankfulness that sometimes are not present in our activity. Just grateful for breathing, just thankful for being here. Just grateful for this moment of stillness. Just thankful for being alive. 
being part of this miracle of life. And continue in the meditation, in the stillness, to just highlight this gratitude, this thankfulness in all and everything that comes to you, that bubbles up to the surface. So every little thought or feeling, every little aspect that you become aware of as you sit in stillness that bubbles up to the surface, just greeting and meeting this aspect with thankfulness, with gratefulness. And feeling this, sensing this in your body. So it's not just a conceptual thought. There is an energy that meets every situation that is thankful, an energy that is just blissfully grateful for all and everything. The affirmation is, all is perfect. No need to change or create change. Simply appreciating and being thankful that all is perfect. The mind may come up with certain little arguments or reasons as to why things are not perfect, but simply appreciate and be thankful and grateful for the mind even being able to do such. A wonderful mind, and I'm thankful and grateful for its capacity to discern and sometimes to just get caught in all and everything and to try to untangle and see clearly through the many, many layers of human experience that I'm having. Positivity in action. As you breathe in and breathe out, everything is met and greeted and embraced with this thankful, wonderful, positively new attitude that allows you to just be here, aware and present. Deep breath. How wonderful just to be. Appreciate even the stillness, the quietness, the spaciousness, the freedom. So that every breath that you breathe deeply into your body acknowledges this positive, free attitude that allows the mind to move beyond that which it knows, the old paradigms, to move to this spacious, light, positive, wonderful, clear attitude. sure your body is totally relaxed, part of embracing life in its perfect state of being, is 
making sure that you're not reactive. So if there is any tension in the body, in the muscles, if your shoulders are tight or if your face is holding on to a thought or a feeling, just make sure that you observe this so that you're aware of the tension in the jaws or in the shoulders or the lower back in your posture and let go by coming back to a state of gratitude being positive and affirming the spaciousness of being the lightness of being deep breath Wonderful just to be here, present and aware. Even if aware of tensions in the body, it's wonderful to be free enough to have a choice through awareness to let go, come back to this state, this natural state of receptivity. and your body reflect your state of mind. If there is any tension in your body, it often reflects the tension in your mind. For the mind to come back to receptivity, it is vital that the posture is in alignment with freedom, with spaciousness, letting go of tensions, letting go of anxieties, letting go of stresses, biochemical imbalances, just coming back to its natural state of freedom. Every little cell in the body recognizing this freedom, letting go of tension, karmic tension, physical tension, emotional tension. There are so many layers to tension and as you let go of one, it becomes easier to let go of the other. You breathe in and breathe out. It's natural for the body to be a little tired or weary of a new structure. So as you become conscious of the back being straight and the shoulders being relaxed but open so that the breathing is more profound, the breathing is more full and complete, it's natural for this to perhaps feel a little bit or be experienced as a little bit unusual. So much easier to slouch than to hold your body upright. If your body has become accustomed to slouching, it takes a little bit of energy, a little bit of awareness to come back to a body whereby the structure is harmonized with receptivity. Don't expect all to flow right in this moment, because that expectation can create tension in itself, that you have to do more. Part of relaxation is letting go of this need to do, 
just doing without being depleted by this tension that is created within the mind that it needs to do this or do that. Activity flows naturally, just like a river. There's no need for the river to become different than what it is. The river flows and naturally moves. It's vitalized by its movement and this is why it's a river. It doesn't need to be a river. It doesn't need to get to one place quicker or slower or do things in a way that makes it more a special river than another river. Consciousness flows naturally. Consciousness is the space where natural choice is made, where freedom exists. As soon as you become reactive or tense or caught in the mundaneness of egoic drives and desires and needs, and the activity becomes depleting. And this is the activity we're used to, and we're used to creating this activity even in our spiritual practice or our meditation. So please be aware of this. If this happens, simply embrace from the positive attitude of being thankful, being grateful, coming back to this moment deep breath. It's so wonderful just to create this space. But of course, life continues. There are activities we need to eat, sleep, many of us need to work and do practical things that take up our time, energy and even distract our thoughts and feelings. But for this next month you may wish to create a clear intention, clear communication within, but also in the clear message that your body, mind, energy, nervous system communicates to the world. So you become a clear reflection of your intention. Just feel if this intention is something that resonates deep within yourself. intention of just being free, the intention of just opening up to this lightness, this spaciousness, this state of receptivity. You can create this intention in the way that feels most comfortable, that speaks more deeply to yourself. Intention can be something as simple as every time I notice my body tense, every time I notice my emotional body reactive, every time I notice that I give energy to the mundane rather than to the sacred space of stillness within, I will embrace a more positive attitude within myself. I'll embrace receptivity, relaxation, breathing in more deeply, correcting the posture of the body, letting go of tension. So that intention then becomes a clear mirror of activity. So rather than feeling guilty or putting yourself down or the activity of the ego creating a victim situation out of some action that isn't flowing or isn't working in the way that you would like it to. You're allowing for 
the river to flow in a very different direction, in, in its natural direction. That is, to come back to a state of receptivity where you're open to freedom, to choices, to the possibilities, to the potential within the experience rather than reacting in the belief or in the paradigm that there is only one result, there is only one outcome. So you're opening your mind, you're opening your body, you're opening the energy centers within your body to potential, to the choices. But of course, for this to happen, one needs to come back to a state of deep, deep relaxation. Wherever there are tensions, the mantra or the spiritual practice can be to let them go and see the possibilities, open oneself to the possibilities. Simply create the intention that allows your heart to celebrate this as a wonderful practice for the next month. So the new moon and the full moon become milestones or markers on the journey whereby we remind ourselves of the celebration, of the joy, of the happiness, of the bliss that spiritual practice truly is, the transcendence towards consciousness that allows for life to no longer be mundane but for every activity to be a sacred aspect of our inner growth, our spiritual journey. Deep breath as the intention becomes more clear deep within the heart. As you breathe in and breathe out, you may wish to sit in stillness for a few more moments. Just allow the body to integrate this intention that you've created deep within your heart, to integrate this clear space that you've created within yourself, that every step that you take in Whichever way that you take those steps becomes a celebration, becomes a wonderful, blissful reminder. It's great to be alive. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you.